Hi everybody, I'm Miss Donna. I am one of the children's librarians at the Half Hollow Hills Community Library. It's good to see everybody. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to read a few stories and we're going to do some songs and hopefully you all will enjoy and we'll have a great day. We're going to start off by singing our welcome song and I have with me today my little friend. This is Kitty the cat and we're going to start off by clapping our hands. Can you help me with clapping your hands? And we're going to start off by wiggling our elbows. Can you wiggle your elbows? Great. And we're going to stamp our feet. We're going to tap our feet. Tap, tap, tap. Now we're going to do the welcome song. My hands clap hello, my hands clap hello. Whenever I come to story time, my hands clap hello. My elbows wiggle hello, my elbows wiggle hello. Whenever I come to story time, my elbows wiggle hello. My feet tap hello, my feet tap hello. Whenever I come to story time, my feet tap hello. Great, I'm so glad you're here. Are you ready for fun? Great, we're gonna start off with a story that's about friendship and working things out. So the first story we're going to read is called Horsefly and Honeybee. And this is by Randy Cecil. And we have uh, permission from the Henry Holt and Company, the publishers, thank you. Horsefly and Honeybee. Okay. Honeybee was tired, so she stretched and yawned and plopped down inside a flower for a nap. But Horsefly was already inside. They had a fight. It wasn't pretty. Horsefly lost a wing, and Honeybee lost a wing too. Drat, said Horsefly, and he ran away. Drat, said Honeybee, and she ran away too. Honeybee started the long walk home. She walked slowly and took lots of breaks. Honeybee wasn't used to walking, but with just one wing, she couldn't fly. Then she came upon a pond. What could she do? She couldn't fly over it. Suddenly, she was grabbed from behind. Can you see that? What do you think that is that's grabbing her? Uh-oh. Drat, said Honeybee. Bullfrog licked his lips and he carried her deep into the pond. He plopped Honeybee down on a lily pad right next to Horsefly. Then Bullfrog went away in search for more dinner. Drat, said Horsefly. Drat, said Honeybee. They sat there for a long time. Horsefly pouted. Honeybee pouted. Horsefly moaned and Honeybee moaned. And then they heard Bullfrog coming back. Horsefly grabbed Honeybee. Honeybee grabbed Horsefly. They each flapped a wing. And up they went. Drat, said Bullfrog, and he hopped faster. He shot his sticky tongue into the air after them, but Horsefly and Honeybee were already out of reach. Drat, said Bullfrog. 
together, honeybee and horsefly flew far away. They flew and flew until they finally landed on a flower. And there was plenty of room for them both. The end. There are our friends, horsefly and honeybee. Very good. It's nice to have friends, definitely. And sometimes the best friends are waiting in the most unlikely places, just like horsefly found honeybee. We're going to do a little song, and I'll need your help with me. Um, if you could, have you ever seen a fly that keeps running around, or even a mosquito, and you try to wave it away? Well, we're going to do shoe fly, don't bother me. So we're going to do shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. You ready to try that out with me? You can wave your hand. And if you have a scarf at home, you could, of course, wave that scarf or a sock, whatever it is. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. Good job. Excellent. You probably ask yourself, why do we sing so often in our story time? And singing is something that helps us to slow down the language so that the children can hear each part of the words that we're singing. So each syllable of a, song, of a word that we sing has its own beat or note. And this helps the children as they get older and they learn how to read in helping them when it breaks down the words that they're trying to sound out. So we are going to do another book. And with this book, we are going to be singing also with this. And it's a cute little book. It is also about a frog. Oh, well, actually it's a toad. It's called A Hippy Hoppy Toad. And this is by Peggy Archer and Anne Wilsdorf. And we do thank Penguin Random House for letting us read this book. And it's a hippy poppy toad. Okay, bear with me. Okay. In the middle of a puddle, in the middle of a road, on a teeter totter twig sat a teeny tiny toad. Snap went the twig, and up went the toad. And he landed on a tree by the side of the road. On the raggy shaggy tree by the side of the road, on the rough gruff, on the rough gruff bark, sat the teeny tiny toad. Peck went a bird. Jump! went the toad and he tumbled to a flower in the park by the road on a fuzzy yellow flower in the hush hush breeze sat the teeny tiny toad in the shadow of the trees buzz went a bee hop went the toad and he jumped to the grass on the side of the road in the slippy sloppy grass where the toad sat still was a happy snappy cricket with a sing-song trill. Chirp went the cricket. Tree went the toad and he chased the chirpy cricket, cricket to the gravel down the road. In the stony gritty gravel in the shade by the road in the calm quiet morning sat the hippy hoppy toad. Woof! When a dog puff 
when the toad Then he hopped to the top of a stone by the road On the flat, flat stone in the warm, still air Lay a tough, scruff lizard with a sharp, steady scare, stare Slink went the lizard, blink went the toad And he hip hop plop down the dirty, dusty road. Down the dry, dusty road where the toad crept along under bunchy, crunchy leaves came an easy, breezy song. Whoosh went the wind, swish went the toad. And he flew to a leaf hanging close to the road. Round the flippy floppy leaf came a whirlwind gust on a huff puff wind with a cloud of dust. Bump went a shoe. Uh oh. Thump went the toad. And he landed on the sneaker as it ran down the road. Past the flippy floppy leaf through the bunchy crunchy leaves down a dry dusty road round a flat flat stone through the stony gritty gravel by the slippy sloppy grass past a fuzzy yellow flower and a raggy shaggy tree went the bump bump sneaker with the teeny tiny toad hanging on for the ride as they raced down the road the shoe went zag the toad went zip. And he sailed through the air to a teeter-totter twig. This poor toad. In the middle of a puddle, in the middle of a road, on a teeter-totter twig sat a teeny tiny toad. Now we're back to where we started, the end. And this, my friends, is a hippy hoppy toad. I hope you enjoyed those books. And now we're going to do a little finger play. And I need you to show me three fingers because we are going to do three green and speckled frogs. So if you have your three fingers, we're going to hold those up high and we're going to use our arm as a speckled log. So we're going to do this song. We'll do it right. We'll do it twice. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs on the log. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs yum yum one jumped one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool now there is one green speckled frog on the log one green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs yum yum he jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs on the log. Alrighty, let's try that again. Are you ready? Three fingers. Okay, three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there were two green speckled frogs on the log. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog on the log. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. 
Now there are no green speckled frogs on the log. Excellent job, boys and girls. You did a great job. And I hope you enjoyed the story time today. And if you get a chance, you might want to try some out outside activities or even inside. Maybe you can try to jump like a frog or jump like a toad. And it's nice out today. So who knows? You could do that outside. Maybe you can get a blanket and look up at the sky and try to see some clouds and maybe see and guess what those cloud shapes could be. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Thanks again for coming everybody. Bye-bye.